Hey everyone, this is Keybox. In this Warframe video, I will walk you through the best control settings for each platform, especially for the PC with some advanced control settings. We will start off with the keyboard and mouse settings and if we go into customize, you can see some of the settings that I actually changed, starting with the hold the crouch and sprint dodge buttons, which I bound them to mouse button 4 and 5, while sprint and roll is actually unbound. The reason is that I'm running with the Logitech G502X Plus and I'm utilizing G4 and G5 buttons on the left hand side and if we go to Logitech G Hub, you can see that G shift button has nothing to do with it and the g5 bound to forward and g4 bound to the back i'm also able to go back in the menus with this i'm also utilizing the middle mouse click as a melee heavy attack and as you can see in the logitech g-hub it is actually a middle click and not a uh, mapped to specific for warframe except the place marker and the switch weapon on the top left hand side on the mouse as a shortcut you don't even need to change some of those settings because in the Logitech G Hub it is actually mapped to Warframe. Turn off the invert if you want and look, aim and aim sense with the scoped are 14 and because of the reason I'm running with the 1600 dpi. So Keywox you might be asking, what the hell is the G shift button? It is basically a button on the mouse that lets you change the complete the button mappings on the fly while you are holding it so as you remember that we changed those buttons to switch the weapon and place a marker but when i hold the g shift button i'm actually able to use my ability one two three and four and even the focus and transference so basically i just hold the g shift and click the middle mouse and i just go into my operator back and forth and the up and down is normal like i haven't changed anything and also on the left hand side i haven't changed anything as well and the moment you let go of the g shift the button mappings goes back to normal you can see switch weapon comes back and the place marker also comes back without the g shift and you hold the g shift they change feel free to copy anything that you see and change anything as you see fit to your liking keep in mind that those settings are not modified in the game just only in the logitech g hub on the left hand side of the mouse you can hold g5 to sprint and then basically touch the crouch to slide with your thumb and on the top left of the mouse to switch weapon and the second one is to place the marker and also if you hold it you are able to switch to a melee and your glaive and you can also use the left click to the fire your melee you don't need to go and press e all the time to attack with your melee weapon and also you can hold the g shift and uh, change some of the skills go back to your operator or use your ability one two three and four while you are holding it also another reason is that i'm not exactly used to shift control and space w asd on the keyboard so my whole life i played with the controller most of the games except some of the fps games which also coming to battlefield 6 soon as well and this way on the mouse mapping is pretty damn easy I don't use invert top and hold abilities, auto swap, weapon on empty is off, reload with context section input is on and uh, this is quite useful as well. A melee with fire weapon input is basically your left click on the PC is on, you hold your button and you don't need to go and press E anymore. Camera attacks melee and align attacks to camera kind of a Dark Souls thing so it is better to have it on. Double jump executes void sling is on and inverts are off and for the arc wing the sensitivity is 52 for each of them and this is quite useful for me as well and for the rail jack those are off again and look sensitivity is 52 and also there's another thing is that a pilot centered crosshair is off in it is default on 
and uh, you need to turn it off if you are playing with the keyboard and mouse so basically the cursor is not gonna be fixated in the middle of the screen so you will be able to aim shoot and still drive your rail jack just uh, depending on how far you move your mouse to is rail jack gonna come to it and you are able to aim where you exactly want to and this is how it looks when you turn it on and it is on by default and it sucks if you are playing with the mouse please do turn this thing off immediately this is pretty much it for the keyboard and mouse side of things for the PC but you can always connect your keyboard and mouse to the sported consoles like PS4, PS5, Series X and S and Warframe actually sports it originally. So the next one is gonna be the controller settings for the consoles, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation or the Xboxes but also for the PC as well if you wanna play with the controller on the PC so you can play with but if you want to do it don't forget you will be able to apply all those settings to either of the console and uh, any platform beautiful right <laughs> On the PS5 side, the things are very much different. So the first of all, we go to customize controller and the touchpad. You can see that up, down, left and right, I am able to map them to the gear slots for the gear slot hotkey 1, 2, 3 and 4. And I just keep using my abilities with the holding the R1 and pressing the X square, circle and triangle. I guess the best way to sort it out is just sliding up is the R wing and down is necromec right side is for the energy pizzas and the left side is for the ammo or like whatever you want to do it so basically in the gameplay you don't have to open the gear slot anymore and you just slide your finger on the touchpad and drop the energy ammo or anything or even while jumping or something like this because it is kind of the purpose and good to do it otherwise you cannot do it by pressing the down d-pad and selecting the thing that you want to use so it is not exactly good to do it we go to the customize controller for the one last time and in here we need to change the right d-pad to the quick progress view i believe the touchpad gear hotkeys which you slide up right left and down is a game changer plus this quick progress view on the right d-pad is just perfect so it is basically like holding the tab on the keyboard in the pc or even on the console if you connected the keyboard so this is basically how it looks on the console so it is the same view which is inaccessible otherwise On the PlayStation as an addition to the other platforms, we have a remote controller customization. Um, I don't really use and utilize it, but you can change those touch screen things to the gear slots and basically the same mentality that we did with the DualSense and just move on with that. And the best part of those settings is starting with the invert Y and X axis are turning off. Look sensitivity is 33 so that I can look around easily. Aim sensitivity and aim sensitivity score are 13 and vibration is off as well as the trigger function is off because some weapons are basically when you hold like ignis or vermi splicer it becomes pretty intensive invert up hold abilities i don't use it auto swap weapon on empty is off i don't want to use it reload with context section input is on melee with fire weapon is on basically when you hold the circle and completely change to your melee weapon you don't have to press the circle anymore to attack so you can just use r2 camera tracks melee target and align attacks to camera is basically on so that melee attacks is gonna deliver a good amount of damage double jump executes the void slink is on and on the arc wing invert is off again look sensitivity is 33 and aim sensitivity plus the scoped aim sensitivity is gonna be 13 again because it will be pretty much useful on the Eidolon hunts and so on. On the rail jack inverts are off again, aim sensitivity is 33 and also aim sensitivity scoped are 13 so when you need to zoom in basically it is better. Pilot centered crosshair is on with the reasons that I already said before on the PC side of things. So just turn it on, it is much more easier that way on the controller.
The next platform that we are gonna do some settings is the Xboxes. So the first thing that we need to go to the customized controller and change some very specific things. First of all, focus on transference thing. So we need to map that into this left middle thing button because otherwise if you don't do it, you need to kind of force to use the L1 and R1 or LB and RB to go into the operator and it is pretty bad. And the right D-pad is again here gonna be tied into the quick progress view but the rest of it like the gear wheel and the place marker and the level map is pretty much the same is as a default and just change the quick progress view to the right D-pad. If we go further into the Xbox settings turn off the invert Y and X axis first and look sensitivity aim sensitivity plus the scoped aim sensitivity is different than the other platforms. That's because probably the controller joystick is has like a different hardware sensitivity or some sort. So just do 33, 23 and 23. Turn off the vibration and I don't use invert up and hold abilities again. Auto swap weapon on empty is off. Reload with context section input is on so that you just press the Y and then it just reloads. Melee with fire weapon input is on. Align a texture camera and the melee tracks the target is pretty much is on so that you can attack the enemy easy. Crouch toggle is off. Double jump execute voice link is on. And here is the dead zone settings. I haven't touched anything yet so it is just the default ones. On the arc wing invert ones are off. Look sensitivity is 33 and aim sensitivity is 23 and aim sensitivity scoped is also 23 on the arc wing. On the rail jack, invert X and Y is off and on the aim sensitivity it is 33 and scoped is the 23 and pilot centered crosshair is on as usual on the controller. Welcome to Switch 2. Even though the game has not been updated, we just go controller and then just put the negative to the focus on transference, the negative button on the left, and progress view to the right D-pad. And impact Y and X things are off. Look sensitivity is 20. Aim sensitivity and scoped aim sensitivity is 10%. Vibration is off. The reason that is, I don't know, maybe I'm not so used to the Switch analog sticks. That's kind of weird after playing the PS5 and Xbox but it is kind of much much more sensitive than it's supposed to be. Gameplay, invert bolt abilities, I don't use it. Auto swap weapon on MT is off. Reload with context, context section input is on. Melee with fire weapon input is the same. R2 or ZR. Kermit tracks melee target, align attack to camera is on. And crouch button off, double jump execute voice link is on, motion controls are off. However, if you wanna just move your joy cons around and wanna aim and also look around with your uh, hand motions, you can pretty much just utilize that thing and use it. While doing so, just leave the sensitivity of the motion controllers and the dead zones on the default setting. On the Arcwing settings, the X and Y invert is off, look sensitivity is 20, aim sensitivity is 10, and scoped aim sensitivity is also 10. On the rail jack, inverts are off again, and aim sensitivity is 20, with the scoped aim sensitivity is being 10, and the pilot centered crosshair is on. And again, as I said before, with the controller, this is pretty much easier to keep it that on and just control your rail jack that way without moving the centered fixated cursor on the screen. I guess this is pretty much sums up the entirety of the advanced control settings that I'm able to give it to you on the Warframe. And if you want to see more videos like this, go check out my channel in general and subscribe and like the video too. It will greatly increase the reach of this content. And do you want me to do the graphic settings in the future or any other Warframe related content? I also have a plan to do a very extensive farming guide for the Warframe materials too. Please do let me know. Give a like and see you all in the next video.